Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application. During these set of lectures, I am handling the subject Software Testing. So the Software Testing subject is added to the 5th semester BCA students of University of Kerala. So why this subject is important? First one, we have to know what is a software and why it should be tested. A software is a series of instruction for a computer that performs a particular task called a program. The two major categories of software are system software as well as application software. So there are two types of software, system software and application software. System software is made up of control programs and application software is a program that processes the data for a user. So the system software includes uh, the operating system, compilers, assemblers, etc. And the application software includes uh, spreadsheets, words, payrolls, video players or some other software which are used by a user. A software product should be released after it has gone through a proper process of development, testing and bug fixing. Testing looks at the areas such as performance, stability and error handling by setting up test scenarios under controlled condition and assessing the result. It is important to note that software is mainly tested to see that it meets the customer needs and that it conforms to that standards. So when we come to the quality of a software, a quality can be briefly defined as a degree of excellence. High quality software usually conforms the user requirements and customer's idea of quality may cover a breadth of features like conformance to specification, good performance on platform configuration, completely meet the operational requirements, compatible to all end-user requirements, and no negative impact on existing as well as end-user base at introduction time. So if these points are considered, then we can tell that that software or a product is a good quality product. A software quality saves good amount of time and money. Because software will have fewer defects, this save time during testing and maintenance phase. Greater reliability contribute to an immense increase in customer satisfaction as well as lower the maintenance cost. Because the maintenance represents a large portion of all software costs, the overall cost of the product will most likely lower than the similar product. So why quality is important or why software testing is important? We can discuss two scenarios that occurred in the previous times. Firstly, we are discussing the case of Airline 5. So let us go through this video. So the Airline 5 crashed during 1996 June 4th. It almost causes a loss of half a billion dollar and the explosion was a result of a software error. So this error is due to uncaught exception due to a floating point error that is conversion from a 64-bit integer to a 16-bit signed integer applied to a larger than an expected number. Actually this was caused due to some modules or program modules that was reused without proper testing from the Airline 4. The error was not supposed to happen with Airline 4 but the error had happened in this Airline 5 which result in crashing this project. Let us consider the second case that is Mars Climate Orbiter. So this project was launched in September 23rd 1999. So this project was designed to study about the climate of the planet Mars. So the Mars Climate Orbiter disappeared as it began to orbit around the planet Mars. It cost about 125 million US dollar and the failure is due to the error in a transfer of information between a team in Colorado and a team in California. One team used English unit while the other team used metric unit 
for the key space operation. That is the English team used the units like inches, feet and pounds. While on the other side they had used the units like centimeters, meters, kilograms etc. So this difference in unit resulted in disappearing of a project, disappearing of a satellite called Mars Climate Orbiter. So this is the importance of software testing or quality assurance mechanisms. So this is why we are discussing the topic software testing in the syllabus of fifth semester BCS students of Kerala University. So when we come to this software testing, the entire subject is divided into four modules and the first module we can see what is the purpose of testing, what is testing and debugging, what are the models of testing and what are the types of testing and types of bugs and the basic concepts of path testing predicates, path predicates, path sensitizing and path instrumentation. These are the uh, topics we are discussing in the first module and in the second module we will discuss white box testing and static testing that is a static testing led by humans static uh, testing necessary tools or analytical tools structural testing code coverage testing code complexity testing and what are the challenges in white box testing these are the topics we are discussing in the second module and uh, when we come to the third module we will discuss black box testing that is the requirement based testing so positive and negative integer testing, boundary value analysis, decision table, equivalence testing, state based or graph based testing, compatible testing etc. So these are the topics we are discussing in the third module that is black box testing or black testing. And in the final module, fourth module we will discuss test management and automation. So that is test planning test management, test process, test reporting and finally automated testing tools. So these are the major topics we are discussing in this subject software testing in the fifth semester BCA syllabus. So my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss more about each of these topics. Until then goodbye, thank you and all the best.